this time, when people look back on this man's life, they will wonder, was he one man or ten? Sri Chinmoy is a man of letters, a man of art, a man of music, a man of action, a man of vision. Above all, he is a man of peace. I strongly feel that the world is progressing. And the world has a sincere hunger for peace. But in the very depths of our hearts, we are all longing for peace a oneness home. The day will come by virtue of our prayer and meditation, feeling of oneness, you know, we shall be able to inundate the world with peace and love. Sri Chinmoy believes that we can only have lasting outer peace if we first find inner peace in our own lives. To share this philosophy with peoples from all nations, he has been conducting twice weekly meditations at the United Nations for more than a quarter of a century and has met with religious luminaries such as the Pope, Archbishop Desmond Tutu and Mother Teresa and political figures such as Mikhail Gorbachev, Nelson Mandela and Zimbabwe President Robert Mugabe and humanitarians like Princess Diana. Every two years, Sri Chinmoy students carry the message of peace and oneness, symbolized by a flaming peace torch to dozens of nations in a global relay run. Peace run is founded upon oneness, that this world, the entire world, is one family. invokes the experience of peace is through music. He has offered more than 500 peace concerts around the world at venues ranging from Carnegie Hall, the Sydney Opera House and London's Royal Albert Hall to this small Catholic girls school in Kagoshima, Japan. In music, I try to offer my uh, feeling of oneness, inseparable oneness. We are all one, we belong to one family, and music is a universal language. instruments from the hundred or so in his repertoire. Inspired by Sri Chinmoy's activities and vision of peace, governmental authorities around the world have dedicated their lakes, mountains, parks, cultural institutions, and other landmarks to the cause of peace in his name. These Sri Chinmoy peace blossoms, as they are called, include Niagara Falls, the national capitals of Canada, Norway, New Zealand, Australia and Iceland, several US states, Lake Baikal, the largest freshwater lake in the world, 
the border between Russia and Norway, Switzerland's Matterhorn, and America's Mount McKinley, Vietnam's Mekong Delta, and numerous towns and bridges throughout the world. In addition, Sri Chinmoy has received national honors from Panama, Malta, and Puerto Rico, and honorary degrees from universities in several countries. He was recently awarded the Mahatma Gandhi Award, along with Coretta Scott King, widow of the renowned civil rights leader, Martin Luther King. As well as being honored many times for his own work for peace, Sri Chinmoy honors the achievements of others in a unique way. It is a program called Lifting Up the World with a Oneness Heart, in which Sri Chinmoy has lifted some 2,000 people in both body and spirit. Since his youth, Sri Chinmoy has emphasized the importance of physical fitness. One of his many friends in the sporting community right, is Olympic champion, <laughs> Carl Lewis. <laughs> Let him come back some more when you run. Yeah, we're gonna come back this way when you run. Okay, go, Steve. Here comes Lewis, Carl Lewis! And I had a call from someone real special for me, Shri Shinmoy, and, and they both told me that your father's spirit is there, you gotta do it. A prolific writer and composer with over 50,000 poems, 1,200 books, and 14,000 songs to his credit, he never wastes a moment. Inspiration comes from my aspiration. I pray and meditate from my prayer life and meditation life. I get inspiration. This inspiration is also expressed through art in what Sri Chinmoy calls in his native Bengali, Janakala, or fountain art, art flowing from the source. When I follow a streak of light, as soon as I start painting and drawing, I see something is guiding my head, guiding my fingers. Sri Chinmoy has completed thousands of Janakala paintings and drawings, which have been exhibited in museums and galleries in many countries. Raiza Gorbachev was the guest of honor at the opening of one of his Manhattan exhibits. Yes, and I'll explain why. Yes. Okay. I see in it. The color of life and the color of hope. The green stands for life. And the blue stands for hope. And that's what I treasure in life. Before she leaves. Over the years, the Gorbachevs have viewed many of Sri Chinmoy's paintings. During a private meeting in Philadelphia, Mikhail Gorbachev saw Sri Chinmoy's 71 by 13 foot canvas entitled, Larger Than the Largest. And at a later meeting in New York, the Gorbachevs had a first-hand look at Sri Chinmoy's seven millionth bird drawing. This drawing was the culmination of a series portraying various aspects of the human soul in the form of birds. During their hour-long visit, Sri Chinmoy and the Gorbachevs photographed one another in front of this historic picture. And President Gorbachev presented Sri Chinmoy with a copy of his memoirs. How does one man accomplish such prolific output in so many fields of endeavor? What is the source of his strength and inspiration? We ask Sri Chinmoy this question. 
the soul some achievements is my meditation my meditation is the unconditional compassion blessing light of my lord beloved supreme supreme i bow to thee i bow What then is the purpose of Sri Chinmoy's multifarious activities? It is to inspire others, each and every one of us, to fulfill our own potential. We are all God's children, and it is up to us whether we want to become good citizens of the world, whether we want to destroy the world, or we want to love the world, build the world, and make a man. transform the world there will come a time when this world will be flooded with peace we is to bring about this radical change it will be you you and your sisters and brothers you and your oneness heart will spread peace throughout the land and breath of the world